Hi there, Julianne Jones here with another video blog post for you. Today I want to talk about the urgent versus the important in your business. Now, if you've read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey, you know what I'm talking about. Stephen Covey defines the urgent in your business as those things that tend to take your attention right this instant that don't really move you forward in any ascertainable way toward your goals, toward what you want in your business. And the important are the tasks that when you dedicate your time to them and you really make them happen, do move you forward. Now, as I'm sure you already know, we mostly spend our time in the urgent especially if you're a direct seller and you work from home, it's very easy to get sidelined by things that seem to be important but really aren't going to get you closer to your business goals. So for instance, if the phone's ringing, the urgent thing to do would be to answer it. When the mail comes, the urgent thing to do would be to sort through it right now. When you get an email, the urgent thing to do would be to go and check it. And what I find with my own business is I can literally waste hours a day on all those urgent activities that don't necessarily serve me in any tangible business way. And I actually heard a brand new business mentor that I'm excited about working with by the name of Brendan Bruchard this last weekend. I was watching a training video and he was talking about how your inbox, your email inbox, is really pretty much filled with requests for your attention from other people. And if you think about it, that's true, that most of the emails that you get are urgent in that they come from someone else who wants you to respond to them and solve a problem for them or look at something that they're sharing with you. But the truth is those emails in your inbox really are urgent. They, they don't generally serve an important aspect of your business. So how do you deal with that? Well, first of all, obviously, you know as well as I do that the urgent is a part of your life. It's a huge part of your life and you can't just ignore it. The best thing that I found though is to learn to manage it. And so for me personally, I sat down and made a list this weekend of the things that tend to take my attention on the urgent side that I want to try to mitigate. So for me that would be email, Facebook, the telephone as a distraction. Those are the three biggest for sure. Um, also, just really like random thoughts. I'll be working on something and I'll be in the project and I'll think to myself, oh, I need to call so-and-so or, oh, it's really important for me to remember to, to write that email. And whereas in the past I would stop and go over here and actually do it, now what I'm doing is I have just a little sheet of paper, I'm making a quick note, and I'm getting back on track with the important task or what Brendan, Brendan calls the, the priority task that I'm meant to work on for that day. It's making a difference for me. And I'm going to tell you, it's challenging. It's kind of like breaking a habit, you know. I'm not coming in and opening my, opening my email first thing in the morning now. I'm working on more important items first. And that's one of the things that he talks about is the fact that those important items should be your number one priority. They usually aren't. So if you take the time to make a list at the beginning of the week or even the beginning of the day, of the top five to ten things that you must get done that day, that's where you need to focus first. And then go check your email when you're done with that. Now, like I said, I know that's easier said than done. But just something that I want you to think about. Sit down right now if you have a minute or some time today. Make some time to sit down and create a list of your urgent activities. And then look at how you might be able to manage those. For me, I turn off my email so it only checks when I tell it to. I don't open my Facebook page, except for three times a day when I'm scheduled to do that. I make sure that I actually turn my phone off or I allow voicemail to do what it's meant to do so that I'm not answering the phone. I'm finding ways to solve those problems so that the urgent isn't creeping in quite as often. Not to say it never does. And I'm also learning how to manage it. So just some food for thought for you today. I hope you're having an absolutely fabulous day. It's a little rainy here today. It's a fall day, but I'm ready for fall. And I'm hoping for some snow this winter. So hopefully uh, you are too. I will connect with you very soon out in the social media realm. And I'm looking forward to that. Thanks and make it a great day.